What's your final answer? The lie is the... the... Nope. Yeah! <laughs> no way! What's wrong with you? Are you ready for medical confessions? I'm ready for medical confessions. I've never done this. Oh, so I should probably explain the rules, right? I'm about to read two statements. One of them is a confession, one of them is a lie. When I read the first statement, you'll be able to grill me on it for 60 seconds. Dan's gonna keep 60 seconds stopwatch. Thank you, Dan. Then I'll read the next one. Dan will keep 60 seconds for you to grill me on it. Then and you will have to distinguish okay. which one is a truth and which one's a lie. If I win okay. during the entire quest. Oh, so we're, not, we're gonna keep score. This is my proposal. I will throw you out of a plane. <laughs> what? Like literally? I'm a skydiver. You know what my biggest fear is? Spiders. <laughs> You've never done never it? Never done You're a virgin? Yes. Wow, this is super rare. <laughs> Have you jumped out of a plane? No. Maybe it's like a Mexican thing. <laughs> <laughs> Are Mexican people jumping out of planes? And constantly, you know, we like to fly away like birds. Okay. That's if I win. Okay, and if I win? If you win, you can have a surgery in my arm. <laughs> when I was seven years old, mm -hmm. I had a squirrel bite my toe, a real squirrel. By your toe, which yes. toe? Big toe. Big toe? Right toe. And where were you? I was in Central Park. Central Park, what were you doing there? Just hanging out. Where were your parents? You were seven years old. They were with me. Yeah, your mom, dad, both of them? I think, oh, we went with my mom and dad, but my mom went shopping, so it was just me and my dad. Yes, around. and it, the toe of your right foot. Right foot. Okay, and which shoes were you wearing? I had, you know when I was a kid, I had those light up shoes that when you step, they light up from paler shoes, probably one Yeah, of those. so very thick shoes. Very thick shoes. And even though they were thick, the squirrel was able to Well, uh, in Central Park, you do picnics. Yes. So you go on and you take your shoes off, you run around. Got it, got it. You take out the thick shoes off in Central well, Park. Well, because you want to what run around of the year? socks. July, probably? July, so yeah. pretty hot. Pretty hot. Pretty hot. Pretty hot. Okay, how much time I got? Three seconds. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Number two. When I was five years old, mm -hmm. I had a fish hook pierce my neck, not while I was fishing. How? I was walking in a hallway, huh? and it caught my neck randomly in the hallway. Where was this hallway? In Russia. In Russia? In what, Russia. Why were you in, Europe, in Russia? I was born there. You were born in Russia? I was born in Russia. Where in Russia? A little town near Moscow. What's the name? Saratsk. Saratsk? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> is your mother Russian or is your dad Russian? Both Russian. Both Russian. Yeah. When did you come to the US? 1995. Which, which dream? <laughs> With which dream? To become a doctor. To become a doctor. You, you nailed it. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, did that hook, was it infected? Um, I don't know. You didn't get checked? I didn't get, my dad's a doctor. Your dad's a doctor. He checked you? A little bit. A little bit, like, not really. He, he did a medical thing. It didn't have tetanus? It probably could have. Tetanus. It, maybe. Tetanus? <laughs> you, you know what tetanus is? Yes, tetanus. Tetanus? Yeah. It's the same thing yeah. in English. Yeah. Tetanus. Hakuna de tetano. Hakuna matata. <laughs> one is real, one is fake. One is real, a true medical confession. And, and the other is fake. fake. The other one's fake. Man, you've had a rough life. <laughs> <laughs> squirrel fish hook, squirrel fish hook. I bet you never thought you'd be in that decision in your life. Never. Not in the US. <laughs> okay. Yeesh. No mummies. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the real one is... God, I don't want to jump out of a <laughs> Just bleep that. That's in Spanish cursing. And we want to monetize this video, so bleep it. I'm gonna go that the... That the no mummies. <laughs> they both look so fake. It's like a cheap movie. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it, okay? My hunch, my heart, as a Mexican kid with a working visa in the United States, <laughs> I'm gonna say that the real one is the hook. Yes! Oh, oh, how did you get it? on this. Oh my god, I better get yours. I don't want to go skydiving. Yes. Wow. My oh, heart man. is pounding. Well man. done, sir. That was good. I am now pretty hooked in this video. <laughs> We're back in medical confessions. Number one, I got hit in my head with a volcanic rock. Where were you? I was in Mexico City. And what happened as a result? Did I you thought there was diamonds inside of the volcanic rock. Mm -hmm. So I kept throwing it in the air, expecting it to break. Mm -hmm. 
And unfortunately, once I threw it, I did like a perfect circle and it landed. He's in trying to draw time. Were you bleeding? I, I, I was bleeding, but not like Ugh! Where exactly on your scalp did it hit you? Like here. Okay. And who was there with you? I was alone in the patio, but then my mom and my uncle came out. The patio of the volcanic rock? No, there was, there's tiny volcanic rocks in Pedregal in Mexico City you can pick up. Google that, somebody, Pedregal! Because it's part of like the architecture of there. Okay. And I, I really thought there was diamonds inside. Why did you think there's diamonds inside? Because I think someone told me or I did a research, um, but it seemed probable, you know, like volcanic. I was seven years old, so you can't believe in those things. Have you ever hit your head before? Uh, no, but yes, after. Years after? No, yes, after. Oh. Okay. Someone needs to Google this place in Mexico where there's volcanic rocks hanging out in your patios. I'm skeptical. We're back in medical confessions. Second one. I broke my elbow when I was seven years old. Uh, did you trip? No. What did you do? I thought um, I was Spider-Man. I really like Spider-Man. And we were in this party and they pulled up a piñata. So I tried to jump at the piñata from a rooftop and I didn't grab the piñata. And when I landed, I broke this elbow. Okay. Did you have to wear a cast? This, the, the strong, the yeso. You know what yeso is? Like a hard cast. A hard cast. Okay, how long did you have to wear it? Like for maybe two months, maybe less. I'm not really sure, I was, <laughs> I was seven years old. You were young, okay. Seven years old, but I, I remember when I took it off, I had like rash. Whose house was it? It was my cousin's house. And whose birthday was it? It was my cousin's birthday. It was a Pluto piñata. A Pluto? Yeah. What is that? Pluto, the dog from Disney Oh, I Channel. thought that's the planet. What? <laughs> the planet, Pluto. Pluto. The planet. No, no, Pluto is a planet, but yeah. it's also the dog of Disney Channel. <laughs> oh, okay, I didn't know. Mickey, Pluto? I'm gonna go ahead and try and trust my lie detector skills and say the real one is the volcanic rock. Yes! <laughs> one yeah, one. That's pretty good. I don't want to go good. skydiving. Okay. When I was young, I nearly drowned in the East Siberian Sea. What age were you? Four. Four in the Siberian Sea. East. East Siberian Sea. East Siberian Sea. What were you doing in the sea? In Russia, we take vacations to the sea. Yes. And the East Siberian Sea is close to where I grew up. Okay, were you like in the waves, in the, in, in the shore, or in the boat? I was young, so like my parents didn't let me go into the ocean. Okay. But I was doing the castles, and when I was doing the castles, the wave hit me, and I almost and, drowned. And it sucked, it sucked you in. It sucked. Who saved you? My dad. You He's do, a doctor. Do you, do you... Remember? I didn't die. Do you remember? A little bit. I just remember being scared in the ocean. How old were you again? Four. Four. Yeah. Your mom was there? Yeah. We go yeah. to the family. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. And do you have any brothers? I have a sister. Were, was she there? No. 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 She was in school. At school. What time of the year was this? It was cold. It was cold in the beach, eh? Hey? Sea. East Siberian Sea. It's cold in Siberia. It's cold in Siberia. When I was young, I spilled boiling hot water on my crotch. What, what age? Five. Five. Were you cooking? No. Who was cooking? Nobody. Where did the boiling water come from? In Russian culture, <laughs> you boil water and then you take a towel and you breathe the hot steam to make you feel better. Who was boiling it? I think I made, may, maybe my sister. And how old were you again? Five. 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 <laughs> okay. And your sister, now she is around. She, this was for her. I boiled the water for her. You boil the water for her. Yeah. How old is your sister? She's 14. 14. And she asked a five year old to boil the water. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. <laughs> Bad. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? I don't know. Man? Crazy. If that's the real one, you gotta <laughs> make some nice parenting, eh? No, bueno, eh? Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> That's for sure the lie. What's your final answer? The lie is the, the boiling. Nope. Yeah! <laughs> no way! Yeah. No way! No way! Yeah. I don't believe you. I'll tell you the whole story. What? Yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> What's wrong with my sister? Ready. Born ready. I am colorblind. What color is this pencil? A pencil? Yeah. That's black with 
reddish brownish. Yeah, and then this one. The same. And then that one. That one is pink with reddish brownish. You don't have to continue, I know you're lying. What? I know you're lying already. R the most common form of color blindness is red green color blindness, and you wouldn't see pink when there's red. That's pink. It does that. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> No. Okay, you, go ahead and you can move on to the next one. My mother had a cesarean section when I was born. Were you the one that was born via cesarean section? Yes. Okay. How do you know? Because she told me. What? Years ago. Just out of nowhere? No, I mean, when you grow up, you kind of eventually know. You asked her that? Yeah. Why? Because it's important, you know, when you go to school, they teach you, they, they show you that that's a possible way. And you were curious? No, even before that. Okay. I knew. Okay. How did she tell you exactly? I don't really remember. I was very young. But I just, I just know. It's actually a good question. Yeah, I think she, she just told me. Were you sick as a kid? Sometimes uh, with breathing. No allergies? No allergies, no. But you have allergies now? As we speak? Yeah. A little bit. Okay. Unless this guy is on another level, your colorblind thing is a lie. It's true. No, come on! Were you lying about what you of see course. here? Oh my god! He lied about his lie. What do you really see no, there? No, that's red. I am colorblind. But you know that's red. But I'm not that messed up. Okay, got it. I was gonna say, you don't see pink when you're colorblind. I confuse sometimes red and green. That's what I just said. Red, green, colorblind is the most green. common. You know when you charge out battery of a camera? Yeah. I like, I never know when it's fully charged. Full focus now. This is the last round of you, right? Yep. Which one do you want me to read first? Tell me when to stop. The fake one. Tell me when to stop. Read the fake one first. Okay, okay. I'll read this one first. <laughs> I missed one week of high school because I had punctured my eardrum with a Q-tip. You know what a Q-tip is? Yes. How old are you? Start the clock, Dan. That's a good question. I was in my sophomore year. So sophomore year. 15, probably. 15. Why were you cleaning your ears? Just daily? Yeah, daily thing? Yeah. Did it happen in the morning? Yeah. I don't clean my ears anything. That's I weird. Know. That's bad. That's like serial killer stuff. You were going to school? I don't know. It might have been on a Saturday. Might have been on a Saturday. It might have been on a Saturday. Do you felt it when you... When you touched it? Do you know how it happened? No, tell me. Okay, get this. I'm cleaning my ear, and my sister comes and pushes the door open. That sister, And, and the door <laughs> hits me in the elbow, and boom. And goes all boom. over. Boom. So you have to say the noise. Boom! Boom. And how old is she? 23. 23? She's nine years older. That's why I'm always doing the calculation. Yes, yes, me too. I was trying to yeah. watch it. Okay, okay. Uh, was she sorry? Yeah. Did you go straight to the hospital? No. Did your dad help you? Yeah. And? Nothing to do for a ruptured eardrum, unfortunately. I missed four weeks of high school because I kissed the wrong girl. You missed four weeks of high school because you kissed the wrong girl? What, did she have herpes? What did she have? Mononucleosis. Mononucleosis, what is that? That's a virus that you get from kissing. Kissing, and what's the symptoms? It's like a flu. Okay. Body aches, fever, sore throat. Okay. How old were you? 16. Hmm. Where did you kiss her? Like on the lips. Correct. Sorry. Location. Oh, I don't know when exactly the what, kiss what? happened. You, you don't know? No. You don't remember the kiss? The exact kiss? Yeah. It could, we the, kissed a lot. The one kiss that but gave you- But we kissed a lot. The one kiss that gave you the secret. <laughs> but I don't know when exactly. So party? No party. I, well, we went to parties, but I don't know which kiss. Which kiss? So you were just kissing a lot of people? No, just her. Wow, you're one of those. No, just one. Wow, wow, wow. How many times did you kiss her? A lot. Did it you was go, high school. Did we you go out with her? her? Yeah. Were you a uh, couple? I mean, like... The thing is, at this point, it's like nothing is really real. <laughs> what? Are we in the Matrix? <laughs> we are in the Matrix. <laughs> the medical Matrix. We're inside Bitcoin. One. You punched your eardrums. Beep. The other is you missed school for a full month. Four weeks. 
worries out of kissing this girl. I believe Mike is trying to act dumb in the one that is real. That's my hunch. <laughs> the real one is the kiss. No, it is! What it is? Ah, my hunch, baby! He was a hunch, baby! Hoop, 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 hoop. The power of the cactus! I knew it! You were acting so dumb. You guys like, I don't know when I kiss her. But it's true, who remember? That's honest. No. By the way, the learning opportunity is I tell all my patients not to use Q-tips inside their ear. Yeah, Q-tips is, is bad, right? Bad. Ooh, it feels so nice. Yeah, don't but don't do it. That's why it feels so nice, because it's not legal. Yes. I can't believe I have to get this right or he's gonna push me out of a plane. What if I tie you? If you tie me? What if it's 2-2? Two -two? Like my father says, We'll cross the bridge when we get there. Estás listo? Sí. Okay. I'm just waiting for you to finish shipping that water. Medical confessions. Final round. If I win, the doctor flies. If I lose, it's a tie. And enough for us to make another video. <laughs> Sometimes my left kneecap dislocates. When was the last time it dislocated? Like eight months ago. And when was the first time it dislocated? When I was like 12. How did it happen the first time? Playing soccer. And how did it happen playing soccer? Just playing soccer, I had the ball, I was about to score, running, running, running. <laughs> how much time was left on the clock when that happened when you were about to score? It was recess, so I mean, it's down 10 so, minutes. So you had time left? Yes, I had time okay. left. But it was recess, it wasn't <clears throat> like an official Okay. What grade were you in? I was, if I was 12, Primera Secundaria, which is, it's different in English. That's okay. Okay. And uh, when was the most recent time that it happened? Eight months ago. And how did that happen? Paddle tennis. Paddle tennis? What's paddle tennis? It's like tennis, but it's smaller, has a glass around it, a cage, it's a very popular sport in Do Mexico. you have to go to the hospital when it happens? No. What do you do? I just rest. Are you ready? Three, two, one. I had a nose surgery. For what? Because I couldn't breathe properly. Why not? Because I had a crooked bone. A crooked bone? Mm -hmm. And how long was the recovery time? I was in the hospital for like 48 hours, and then they could let me go. And did anything happen after when you went home? I still had the little things that you have there, mm -hmm. and it was a little bit sore, mm -hmm. and I had like a tape here. In the United States or Mexico? Mexico. What kind of doctor did the surgery? What was his name? Faustino. First name? Yes. His first name was Faustino? Yes. And what was his last name? Galvez. Can you stand up for a second? Stand up? Yeah. Don't touch it. Hold on, I just need to touch it. You can't touch it. Why not? That's illegal. Why not? I'm gonna me to you. Come on. And I no. just wanna see if it dislocates. No. no. And I said left, not right. You caught that I was doing that. Damn it. Knee dislocation or nose surgery. I know you have allergies, because I've seen you post on your social media, you wear an allergy mask on the plane. Allergy sufferers have higher rates of sinus infections and sinus problems in general. And if you already know to wear an allergy mask, it's very likely that you've seen an ENT doctor. Also, the fact that you said that your left knee gets dislocated and it just goes away with rest, doesn't sound right. Ladies and gentlemen, I think the lie is his left knee. I am very happy to say that you're correct! Yes! <laughs> was my analysis good yes. though? <laughs> I shouldn't have posted about those allergies. That's the thing, he did some research. He's, he's like some FBI type of thing, you know? I show up here like, hey Mike, nice to meet you. It's a tie. It's a, it's a tie. And enough for us to make another video. Subscribe. Subscribe and comment. <laughs>